Hey everyone, Carl here with Literate Lessons bringing you another Unite video this week. Uh, the last Unite video went over really, really well. Uh, we talked about Mammal Swine obviously last week. You can catch the I card up in the corner there to go back and watch it and talk, watch me talk about Mammal Swine's build. Uh, and that video did really, really well. So I figured why not cover the new Pokemon to Unite, Greedon, uh, added with the Halloween event this past week, and talk a little bit about what makes Greedon great, how Greedon is very different compared to normal MOBA characters when we think about defenders specifically, uh, and what Greedon excels at. So Greedon uh, is a very bulky Pokemon when it comes to in terms of endurance. Uh, having that 5 star endurance rating is very common for defenders or at least something close to it. Uh, but when you look at the rest of this though, uh, you see that it's actually one of the more supportive defenders in the format. Having that four at three and a half star support rating means that you can be a support, be a defender at the same time, and kind of just play multiple roles. And that's kind of what we're starting to see as other defenders develop and play the game more. Mammal Swine is into that offensive defender role, as is Blastoise, whereas you see things like Wigglytuff playing support defender at the same time, or Blissey being that support defender as well. So it's kind of interesting seeing how Pokemon has blurred these lines of what normally is like, here's my tank, here's my support, and instead have kind of merged them together in certain situations for roles. Uh, as for the rest of Greed and Stat here, we see scoring is at a 2. If you remember last week's Mammal Swine video, most defenders have low scoring rates because they're not meant to be the ones scoring, they're meant to be the ones defending goals. And then mobility is at a four. Uh, we'll talk about mobility. There's some hilarious stuff in Greedon's moveset that changes your mobility. And then offense is at three, which is weird. But we'll talk about why offense is it should be higher than what it is uh, when we get to it. So starting off with Greedon's ability, Cheek Pouch, uh, whenever you eat a berry, no matter what kind of berry it is, you get HP back for it. And it stores a berry in your tail, which are the little pips at the bottom of the health bar there. Um, and what that ha the berry mechanic is, is it kind of works with your abilities, reduces cooldowns, increases damage, and things like that. The main goal of Greedon is to get bar berries, continue to grab berries, and use those berries to your advantage. Uh, here a little bit later we'll talk about why this is cool for Greedon and why it can be bad for MOBAs in general. But it'll be it's interesting to look at Greedon as a healer tank that has some decent offensive pressure. Um, you also get berries whenever you are hit. Um, which is very interesting. So it's like every time you get hit like, like against ranged attackers you drop berries if you can pick those up. It's not as punishing being chased by a ranged attacker sometimes. So starting out as a Squobit, you get two moves. You get Tackle and Defense Curl. Uh, tackle lets you charge towards a designated area, dealing damage to Pokemon in the area, and decreases their movement speed for a short period. Uh, if it's used while Covet is active, no area is designated. You kind of just shoot it out forward. Um, and... Uh, if you have more berry, if you have berries stashed away, it reduces the cooldown based on the number of berries. Uh, I believe the way it works is if you have max berries, the cooldown is automatically refreshed. So max being five. And then uh, after that, you uh, get to have some kind of weird math. I think it's like 20% each time. So for every berry before that, so it's like 20, 40, 60, 80. I believe that is how it works. Um, tackle, uh, when, when you level up to level 7, you get to turn it into Bullet Seed, which uh, lets you spit Berry Seeds, dealing damage, uh, and the more berries you have, the more damage you deal. Uh, it kind of works a lot like Sylveon's Hyper Voice, whereas you're kind of stuck spitting berries in a straight line and kind of do the strafe back and forth. Um, whereas, with Syl and with Sylveon's, it's kind of the same way, but Bullet Seed lets you stop. You can stop it mid mid-action and kind of walk and change directions and reactivate it to kind of continue to shoot um and obviously the more berries you have the more damage you get to do and so on and so forth the other move is belch uh belch deals damage in a cone in front of you to opposing pokemon in the area and decreases their movement speed for a short time um if you have more berries your cooldown gets refreshed uh, so again, kind of like how Tackles has its cooldown reduced, Belch works the same way. Um, the more berries you have, the lower the cooldown is. I think at five berries, again, it is an automatic refresh, which we'll probably, I expect to see a bunch of changes to Belch in the coming week or so for, for Greedon. The other move you have is Defense Curl. Defense Curl grants you a shield and throws a berry 
in front of you to kind of help supplement your berry needs for Squoba ingredient. Um, when you upgrade at level 5, uh, you get to upgrade it into Stuffed Cheeks or Covet. Stuffed Cheeks that throws uh, berries out in a direction, usually in front of you, uh, recovers HP, and, and then any HP over that is turned into a shield. Um, if you catch sight of a berry while you're moving, you get movement speed increase. This is where your extra mobility can start to come in. Both Stuffed Cheeks and Covet can make a gradient a little bit faster than normal and help it get to certain locations a little bit quicker. Um, as for Covet, uh, it gets to speed up as you eat berries. So this counts for the berries that you drop, the berries that you find on the map, uh, your opponent's berries, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and for each berry you hit, you get a speed boost, and you get to go a little bit faster and a little bit faster. Um, this is fun when you're trying to get to certain locations faster, kind of rotate around the map. You can activate Covet and cut through the jungle pretty quickly, or recall, hit Covet, and then run the lane early on in the early levels and get back to those objectives a little bit quicker. Uh, the other cool part about Covet is you can use your other moves. You can use Bullet Seed or Belch while in Covet. Uh, you can also use Tackle. Um, but the big things are being able to use Bullet Seed and, and Belch while you're running down on enemies and trying to chase them. If you make contact with an enemy while in Covet, you do a small knock up into the air. So it's kind of cool to be using Covet plus Belch as kind of this weird CC tool to stay on top of people and keep enemies in the game. Your Unite move is Berry Belly Flop. Uh, saying that 10 times fast is going to get you a tongue twister there. Um, you eat a berry to restore a little bit of HP, and then you leap into a designated area, um, dealing damage and throwing them up into the air. You then eat a special berry, allowing you to stash unlimited berries. So this combos well with your bullet seed and your belch, uh, allowing them to either deal massive damage all the time, or be able to have a refreshed cooldown on your belch constantly. Um, this combo, belly, be the belly flop plus belch combo is really good at taking objectives like Zapdos or Dreadnought. Uh, the belly flop and bullet seed combo is really good at dealing damage to enemies and trying to pick up KOs over time. So this is why I think Greedent should have a more, like, I think Greedent's damage is incorrect and I think this will get changed probably. Uh, you deal so much damage so quickly with belt, you can get about 13 belches if you have max berries at the start. So you can go belch, belch, belly flop, belch, 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 belch over and over and over until you run out of cooldown for that. So I think we'll expect to see some changes to Greedent's belch at least in the near future. The best builds for Greedent uh, haven't quite been figured out yet. It hasn't been around long enough to have a good solid set build. Um, a lot of what we're seeing though in the early tournaments and early uh, ranked games like that are usually considering uh, Stuffed Cheeks and Belch to be the best two move combo for Greedent that are looking to kind of play that defender support role. You get to throw berries out, you can heal your teammates that way, and you can still deal decent damage with Belch. Um, and kind of helps you with objective control for like late Dreadnaws or Zapdos or Rotom and things like that. Um, you could also get away with Covet Belch. That's another combo that I've seen a little bit of. While not quite as oppressive as a Stuffed Cheeks Belch set, it lets you rotate around the map faster and be in more places more often. Um, you might be able to even get away with playing a Jungle Greedent setup like that, coming in and throwing berries to help your team or using Covet to rotate very quickly. Um, as for items on Greedent, we kind of see a lot of Buddy Barrier and defensive items. The normal big ones are like Buddy Barrier Focus Band. Those are the big two that we see on Defenders most of the time, and this is no exception for Greedent. Um, that third slot can be changed a little bit. Uh, I've seen Weakness Policy, I've seen Muscle Band, which is my preferred item, and the one we're going to have on screen right now. Um, I've also seen uh, people just playing all defensive with like Score Shield. Um, you can do like attack weight or AO's cookie. So Greedon still is kind of in that unexplored area. It lets you pick and choose what you want to play with. Um, but for right now, we're going to talk about what I think is optimal, which is Buddy Barrier, Focus Band, and Muscle Band. Um, obviously, Buddy Barrier makes a lot of sense. You're a defender. You want more HP. Also, the way your Unite move works is being able to you jump in and are kind of the CC tank when you do. Uh, being able to grant a shield to a lower HP member is always good, and that extra boost off of your Unite move is going to be very effective for you. 
Um, as for Focus Band, it helps you out early, kind of try to keep your survivability up. Squovit by itself isn't very good. Um, it kind of, kind of in that weaker tier of a level, f you are a level five evolution, so you don't have a lot of power until you evolve an ingredient. So having that Focus Band means that you can trade a little bit er earlier on and not get super duper punished for it. As for Muscle Band, Muscle Band tends to be my defense, my atta offensive item of choice right now. It helps you pick with your tackles a little bit. It helps you with belches, belches a little bit. Just helps you get a little bit more damage overall. It helps you clear camps faster so you hit level 5 faster. Um, you can definitely get away with Weakness Policy. Weakness Policy is better if you're kind of like a Covet with a Belch build. Being in the middle of fights, being the offensive aggressor. Uh, means that you get your weakness policy activated more often and you get to snowball that a little bit easier the downside is is once that wears off is you don't get the boost anymore whereas muscle band is a consistent boost but not as big so overall greedin seems to be really like impacting the meta a little bit uh, people are either really really like it or are really really against it and part of that is due to the fact that it's berries mechanic is kind of weird most MOBAs when you see something like that like a berry or in the case of Pokemon it's gonna be berries but in the case of like other games like League of Legends or Dota when they have like weird little mechanics like that usually the opponent if it interacts with it it just doesn't do anything well in the case of Greedon if your opponent interacts with the berry they get healed being able to heal your opponent is a really big downside honestly and this may get changed in the future but I'm personally fine with it because I feel like if your opponent doesn't get healed by berries, it's going to be weird kind of thing. You know what I mean? Um, keeping track of all the berries, whether you're your enemies or your allies, is going to be hard. Uh, and I think that overall, your opponent's getting healed by these berries is a fine mechanic to have. And it's a fine downside for greed. And, um, it kind of makes you less more punishable by your opponents being able to try and interact with your berries uh but it also leads to more fights for your team so it kind of is this trade-off of if your opponents want to try and abuse the greedent berries they can but they're going to end up in fights more often and not be able to take as many camps early on and so on and so forth and that's greedent greedent has really made an impact on me i really really enjoy playing with it uh i've my favorite current format is to play it with the halloween event with covet and belch and just run around and throw pumpkins at people and do all that but for competitive uh it's, i haven't played it too much in standard or ranked matches right now mainly due to the fact that there is the bug so i don't want anybody to think i'm trying to abuse that or anything uh but it's really really enjoyable i think green it's going to be great for this game and i'm excited to help everybody else get on the green and hype train uh make sure to check us out on twitter all of our handles are on screen and down below make sure to check out our discord discord community is great we're getting ready to start zapdos league season two here soon for unite so if you're interested in that come sign up be a free agent that starts on november 1st uh and then make sure to like subscribe leave a comment down below all that fun youtube stuff it helps us out a ton and we will see you all tomorrow with the podcast episode bye everyone